Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while, a little over a month exactly. <laughs> um, sorry, I've got a lizard on my shoulder. Um, it's been a little over a month. I don't really have a good excuse for not blogging other than I have been working almost every day. Gotta be on that grind. Um, got a lot of animals to take care of. <laughs> um, come here. You don't need to go down my back. <laughs> Speaking of, this is Kakarot. He's just chilling, trying to find a nice place to snuggle up. He really likes to be inside my neck, like right in the crevice. But today, I don't know what he's doing. There's no telling. Anyway, <laughs> um, I haven't really been up to much other than work, and I have a niece now. Um, her name's Layla. Congratulations, Amanda. Um, yeah. Just been working on the house and taking care of animals, really. It's my totally exciting life. Um, but I do love my job. I work with a lot of cool people, a lot of really nice people. Um, super happy. Kakarot. Um, so what have you guys been up to, really? Leave a comment. Let me know. Um, what's up? Um, yeah, so, it's really it, so I guess I could, like, introduce everybody to all my animals, that would be kind of fun, I suppose, for anybody that can get into, like, a 15 minute long video about some another person's pets, but, here we go. So, Kakarot, come here, ding dong. He is just a leopard gecko from PetSmart that some person just dropped off at a friend's pet store and decided, I guess, that they didn't want him anymore. So I should have called him Sticky Fingers. Oh, he's just trying to jump <laughs> to get somewhere comfortable. That's Kakarot. All right. <laughs> This is a leopard gecko as well. His name is Ghost. And he is only about two months old, almost three. His name's Ghost. He is um, a pet smart leopard gecko mixed with a blazing blizzard leopard gecko. So hopefully he'll turn out pretty awesome looking. If he doesn't try to jump down first, which he usually will. He's a little man. No joke. Little daredevil. <laughs> and this is usually where the lizards go in the first place is the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. This is Lay Oreo. He is a Mexican hognose snake. He was on the reject table for $20 when I got him. I got him at uh, Repticon here in Atlanta. You hear him, that's him hissing. He definitely has a little complex there. Let's see, say hi. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna eat your ass. There you go. <laughs> I've wanted a hog nose for a really long time, so um, when the guy told me that he had a whole bunch of $20 snakes and he had a hog nose on there, I was like, yeah, that's what's up. So I got a little Mexican hoggy. See that nose? That's why they're called hog nose snakes. They're so cute. <laughs> Hello, I'm a pig. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> He just sort of fell out of my hand. <laughs> One thing they're really good at doing is playing dead. They will roll over and open their mouth and be like, ah, I'm dead. So, I don't know. I'm just in love with him. Did I say his name? His name's Leorio from 
Hunter x Hunter, if you know that what that is. <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram, this is the so famous, so lovely Captain Levi. Mr. Moody himself. He's actually getting bigger, which is a surprise. He was just as big as my middle finger not too long ago. So, you want to say hi? Huh. Say hello to the camera. I will eat you. Nom 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 nom. Yeah. All right. This is scary. Um, I've had her roughly 10 years almost, 9, nine 10 years. Um, long story short, uh, she's bounced back and forth, but she's my love. She's the first snake that I ever did have. She's a ball python. Just a normal ball python, which a lot of people in the reptile world like. They would rather use them for feeders than actually as pets, but she's my big girl, she's my baby. I wouldn't, there wouldn't be any of this without her. So, take a bath, scary. <laughs> This is Hedwig. She is my leucistic testic little 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 not testicles, don't worry. Leucistic Texas rat snake. And uh, leucistic just means that she has the blue eyes and she's white. As all rat snakes are when they're young. She's a little bit crazy, a little bit wild. Um, I've had her for a while. I got her when she was easily half this size and She's growing, slowly but surely. I don't think she'll like the camera very much, but... She's rattling her tail. They do that when they feel threatened, and she'll probably musk on me, which means she will use the bathroom all over my hand. But, she's little, so the musk would be very tiny. <laughs> is Beachy. He is actually a rescue that I did with the Georgia Reptile Society. And he's a California king snake. I don't know how old he is. I know absolutely nothing about him other than he is amazingly friendly. He's awesome to take to shows. He tolerates everyone well. He's never musked on me, um, which king snakes do as well. So, as you can see, he's just a little finger cuff really. Right now he's hungry. Um, even though he just ate like four days ago, he's always hungry so <laughs> that could be why he's so tensed up around me. So 
definitely a possibility. Emerson and Ferdinand in this cage here, <clears throat> excuse me, in this cage here, and this cage here. This is Ferdinand, this is Emerson. They're just ball pythons, but honestly, um, I don't want to disturb them because they did just eat a couple days ago, and I like them to digest their meals a little bit better before I handle them. Then, come here, love. Commander Irwin. This is Captain Levi's brother. A lot bigger, as you can tell. <laughs> um, he just got out of the bath, so he's wet, and he's tripping all over me. He's looking at me like, "Why are you talking to these? Like nobody, nobody's there. Why are you being so special? You don't want to look at the camera? There you go. Your dragons have so much personality right now. He's just trying to figure out like why there's another dragon in front of him and if he should eat it. Man, I don't know. If you want to eat it, eat it. But if it's just you, say bye. Bye bye people. Toodles. <laughs> This is my Euromastix, spiny tailed lizard. As you can see, he's shedding on his tail. His name is Mordecai, and I actually just rescued him from a couple that had had him 10 years. I'd say rescue, but they donated him willingly. Um, they, their kids were all grown up, and so um, they didn't really see the need to keep him any longer. So his name is Mordecai, he is a little crazy. He's not used to me, and I did, um, I have been waking him up because he's been sleeping constantly, um, which is known as brumation, but it is about time for him to come out of that, and he is being super lazy, just like me. Look at his belly, it's so pretty. Yeah, you're alright. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you are. <laughs> And of course, I do have Gallifreya. She is the big girl, and I am super stoked. Ignore the poopy dragon water. That's what he just took a bath in until he used that for a minute. Story of my life. Let's see. Gallifreya. She is a Colombian boa. Um, a lot of people call them red tail boas. She is about eight feet long. She is roughly 30 pounds. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> she is very, very sweet. Very, very large. I'm going to see if I can't get her up here for you guys to see. No, don't go under there. No, you cannot go under there. Uh, always looking for a hidey spot. And this is her. <laughs> She's pretty big. To a lot of people. She's beautiful to me. But she's the biggest snake I've ever owned. I got her for a Christmas present from Cameron. 
I'm sorry, I've got burps. But, yeah, she's super sweet. As you can see, she's super docile. She eats large jumbo rats. And she's just hanging out. <laughs> Alright. Oh, big girl. There you go. I know, you don't want to go back home. But you have to. Oh, you gotta let go. Alright, and now I have one more that I just got. <laughs> and oh man, oh man. This one. I might get a bit. That's okay. He's a baby carpet python. Ignore his dirty, dirty screen. He likes to splash in his water. But yes. I just got him. Carpet pythons can actually be really nippy when they're babies. He is very, very nippy. And he does, he's bitten me. It doesn't feel great, but his mouth is super tiny. I'm gonna keep a shirt or something in here to like grab with. But I see my beautiful husband has removed all of those, so Thor Infinity Scarf it is. And again, this is just to able to catch him if he falls and if he bites me, which it is definitely looking like that's going to happen. Intense, right? Oh, come here. There you are, you little ding dong. New, new, new. Come introduce yourself. His name is Ryu. <laughs> Definitely still a chance he may bite me, but at least it won't be from the bottom. He's very sweet, though. He has, I've taken him out every day. He's only bit me the first couple times. He does still strike at me, but I can't be really that mad at him because if somebody were to come into my house and I didn't want them there, I would probably try to bite them, too. Thought I'd throw poop on them, which may be why I get along with snakes so well. I don't like you. Here, have my poop. Get out. I'm gonna bite you. Just, it's, people don't fuck with crazy people and poop makes you crazy. That's all I'm saying. Say bye, Ryuk. But first, look at those eyeballs. He's got such pretty eyes. Yes, you're gonna give them kisses. Mwah. I am. You can go back into your hidey hole now. Do you not want to go back into your hidey hole now? There you go. And now he is looking for a hiding spot. <laughs> right on. Well, now you've met all my animals except for Emerson and Ferdinand. And hope you had fun on my magical tour of reptiles in my reptile room. I'm awkward. Very socially awkward. Okay. Bye. <laughs>